Hello and welcome to the video. This is a very quick video as a gentle reminder that the support for the continued development on platforms with the STM32 F1 flight controller, things like the trusty CC3D and the trusty NAS832 are coming to an end. Betaflight, Cleanflight, iNav and lots of others have been talking about the fact that they've been having to remove features from the latest and greatest releases in order to make the targets. That's just the amount of software, the package if you like, that you flash onto those flight controllers fit the flight controller memory. I first started playing with both the CC3D and the NASI32 over two years ago now. If you look on the channel, you'll find the playlist and I have lots and lots of videos for both of these flight controllers. And I'm still getting lots of questions from pilots who are using the NASA 32 or looking to build new models with the CC3D. And the reason for making this video is to just provide that gentle reminder that support the development for these boards is coming to an end. Now, does this mean that the CC3D and NASA 32s that you're already using will stop working? No, of course it doesn't. What it means though is that in future the latest and greatest features in things like Beta Flight, Clean Flight, iNav and others will not be available for these older flight controllers. Now each of the videos that I make on the channel has the date at the beginning and that's a very conscious effort. That's so that if you're looking at a video and it's two or three years out of date you know that the thing you're looking at is getting a bit long in the tooth. Six months in this hobby is a very long time, two years is an eternity. So it's a testament to how good these boards were back in the day that they're still being used for new builds. But my recommendation is if you're looking to build a new wing, fixed wing, multi-rotor, quadcopter, tricopter, whatever it is you're going to put together, don't go for a CC3D or a NASA 32 now. Go for one of the much later or improved STM32 F3 base boards. We've looked at loads and loads on the channel. We looked at them from FR Sky recently, from Hollowbro. We've got loads of them being used in our quadcopter building for beginner series. Tons of them in the reviews playlist as well. So there's lots to choose from depending on what you need. If you choose one of these F3, F4, or even the latest generation of the new F7 based flight controllers, then it will mean that as the technology and the software continues to develop and features and improvements are added, you will be able to download and flash those onto those targets with more processing power and also more onboard memory as well. So for me, it's a little bit of an end of an era. The NASI32 and the CC3D were my first proper flight controllers after moving away from the multi-way and they're part of the gateway drug to getting in to some of the high-end stuff that I've been playing with recently. And what I'm going to do with this video is pop it at the top of all of the CC3D and NASI32 playlists. So if somebody's coming along and they're searching for NASI32, they'll know that it now it's probably a platform they shouldn't be looking at. And they should go for something like an STM32 F3 baseboard, something like the ones from Hollybro, Seriously Pro, FR Sky, the Omnibus, any of those that we've used on the channel successfully in the last seven or eight months. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video and particularly for watching right to the very end. We try and release a video on Tuesday and Friday and sometimes we'll release one or two extra ones in a week as well. All of the videos on the channel are organised into easy to use playlists so do have a look in there because if you're interested in a subject we organise all the videos on that subject so you can find them easily all together in one place. If you like what we're doing, then please like and subscribe and tell others about the channel so they can come and join as well. We're available in all of the usual social media places, particularly in places like Instagram, Twitter, and we also share all of our 3D designs on Thingiverse.